my family home, now as you see a hotel and looked after by the National Trust. And we have both Mark and Sophie from the National Trust here, who can answer any questions you have. And we're going to have, 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 have a tour. Anyway, so I know you've been to House of Parliament, you've been to Plymouth, and it's, as you know, 100 years since uh, Nancy took her seat in, in Parliament. We're having a big event in Plymouth in November, and we're unveiling a, a, a statue. Now, this was um, Nancy's home. You were in the French dining room. My um, grandfather went to um, France um, and went to a hunting lodge in Versailles and either bought or stole the dining room. <laughs> <laughs> or a combination of the two, which is what we have here, which is the French, French dining room. Um, there was, when I was a child, a, hole in, a bullet hole in the panelling up there because left over from the French Revolution. And unfortunately, over the years, some rather kind of painter thought, well, the trouble hold off, but it is. Yes. It disappears. <laughs> anyway, this is a kind of historic, historic room. So, um, it, we're all very proud that it's 100 years of Nancy taking her seat. Um, and there are a lot of events happening in England. And uh, we're having a debate in Parliament. And it's still a remarkable thing for women to succeed in Because it's difficult having you know, matching life, husbands, children, and politics. It's a tough, it's tough, it's sort of But she, we're here. But I think what Nancy proved is, as you know, Nancy was born in a very small house in Danville, the one you know. Yes. And she was then buried here in Clifton, in the chapel down there, which is where I'll show you, some of you would like to see it. In one of England's kind of great state of heaven. But she got there by a combination of determination, cleverness, wit, um, never accepting anything anybody said without really wanting to argue with it. <laughs> and there we go. And fun and amusing. When we were all young as the children, she made us laugh all the time. She could actually make life fun. But it really showed you what, what if you just for anybody concentrating on what they wanted to do, you could succeed, wherever it was. I mean, she was lucky, she had my grandfather, she had a house, but she broke the mold, and it probably took an American to do it in this country. I don't think an English woman would have found it so easy. So we, she broke the mold, and uh, we've all been involved, involved in politics um, since. As if my father was, met, was an MP, uh, I sit in the House of Lords. My uh, stepdaughter married David Cameron, former Prime Minister. So we're still kind of carrying on this kind of tradition, as it were, um, started by Nancy. Anyway, so we're going to have tea, and then for those who'd like to have a look around the house, and we have two great experts here who could answer any questions. You can see the picture of Nancy and some of the pictures of my family. Um, for those who'd like to, after tea, I'm going, to, I'm going to wander down to the chapel, which is about five, ten minute walk down the, down the steps. Anyone would like to come and see it, where my grandparents, great grandparents, were buried. Very welcome. Don't feel obliged, you, you have to come stay and have tea and look around the house. But for those of you who like some exercise, it's a nice afternoon. We'll, we'll, we'll go down there. In the meantime, um, I'm delighted you're here. Anybody want any questions? Please ask them, you know. Um, we look forward to hearing your views and also hearing what you've done on your great tour around England. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? No, 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 I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere.